Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to another episode, another session, another day of uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. It is April 4th, this is the second day that I've had the game. Uh, I have been playing a little bit of it off screen, just to get to grips with the combat really. I haven't, um, haven't been leveling as such, because I've reloaded my file. Because uh, I did gain a couple of levels, uh, so I didn't want to like, do too much. Uh, grinding at this point in the game. It's very early on. Uh, and if I am going to do some leveling, I'd rather do it on screen right now, so you guys can see kind of how um, how the leveling system seems to be going. So, we are with Tifa, who I have decided um, I'm going to marry. Where We've got the wedding scheduled uh, next week. It's going to be a pretty small affair. You know, we don't want too many people um, we're, we're kind of, you know, especially Cloud. <clears throat> I mean me. Uh, we're not really, you know, into, uh, into big, uh, do's. So, um, what am I talking about? Oh, man, I have, I have really, really enjoyed this game so far, chaps. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's just been bloody amazing. I cannot wait to get back into it, but I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I've done. because uh, I did, I did get us to level 11. Um, we were very close to leveling, I think, especially Cloud, so we're both uh, level 11 now. We've got, um, I think every time you level, you get SP, which uh, eventually will lead to your weapon level increasing, which increases your weapon level across the board. I thought that weapons leveled individually, but they don't. So, um, the more SP you get, the more your weapon level increases. Um... So I think at level 12, we'll probably get weapon level 2. Which means we can get more upgrades for our, for our weapons. Uh, SP, now, I also didn't realize this. But if we go into the upgrade weapons screen... Um, we've got 7 SP to spend, but... Say we wanted to get more upgrades for the Iron Blade. Uh, what we could do is go pay Chabli or chatters, um, to basically remove the SP from, say, the Buster Sword, and then we could pop it all into the Iron Blade. Um, yeah, I didn't quite get that when I first saw the tutorial, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So, um, we may end up doing that, because I think I checked, and it's only like 100 gil to respec, um, or to remove the SP from a weapon, so it's really not that bad. Um, but for now, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, we might as well buy another upgrade, though. I freaking love that this this looks like the Crystarium from 13, which was like one of my favorite things about that game. I know not many people like 13, but I thought its um, character upgrade system was really good. So <clears throat> we could get more HP. We could do, or we could we we could put these points into the Buster Sword if we want to start using that a bit more. But I think I'm going to stick with the um, with the Iron Blade for now, considering we've only just got it and it does have more materia slots uh, at the moment. That is, uh, so I'm thinking we'll get hmm counter damage up or HP. I think we want some HP. Let's let's do it. 150 is not bad. Um, so so yeah, there we go. Uh, and then we'll see what Tifa can get for her leather glove. Also, I love how this each um, weapon thing has a different color. <coughs> or each character has a different color. Uh, so we could get some more MP. What else can we get? HP, yeah. Tifa... Tifa takes a lot more damage right now because we don't have any um, decent armor for her or any accessories, so we'll get her some more HP. There we go. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to see. Yeah, so on this screen, as you can see, you got I've got 15 out of 20, which means I've gained 15 SP in total um, as I've been leveling. So. Uh, we can, once we level, we're probably, if we get five more SP, then we'll get to weapon level two. Uh, and, and I was confused. I thought that each weapon leveled individually, but it's, it's not. So, so I just want to, uh, clarify that in case anyone's confused. Um, 
you you might have figured that out quicker than I did uh, when you're playing the game, but uh, we've also done some new battle intel. We did the one where I had to attack uh, an enemy weak to a spell. Uh, in this case, it was ice. We used ice on the Gorger enemies, so we're going to be able to buy some wind materia from Chabley. So we'll go hand that in, in a second. And uh, I've not really done anything else, so let's head back. Uh, well, actually, no, before we head back into town, I am just going to show off some of Tifa's moves. I also didn't quite understand how the whole building your chi level worked. Uh, so here we go, let's attack with Tifa. Get a ATB gauge charged. And so at the moment, if we use triangle, we're going to use the uh, spiral uppercut thing. But if we use unbridled strength, now it's changed to omni strike. And we could charge that again to get a different attack as well. So let's um, show it off. Boom. Oh, two for one deal. That is so good. Oh, oh my lord. So, uh, so yeah, I'm very much like Tifa. In, in case you didn't know, but like, mechanically the way she works in battle is is really cool. I like that. Um, so, I will probably just be swapping constantly between the two. Um, and uh, also, I think her... Oh, that's a good point. I think we had a Materia level up. Yeah. In fact, how do I... I think there's a way of... Yeah, here we go. So, her Chakra Materia has leveled. It is level 2, which means we get a bit more HP uh, when we use it. Um, but that's that's a really cool... I mean, 25% HP of damage taken. If you're, I mean, really low on health, which Tifa actually is right now, um... That's going to be useful. So you know what? I'm going to try and use that in the next fight. Which, uh, I've just been running around this area. Scrapyard Boulevard. These enemies respawn really quickly. Oh, crap. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Being bound like that. I shall save you, Tifa. There you go. Deal with that. Alright, Tifa. Let's do... A chakra. So she's got like 594. And that heals less than a potion, less than cure, but it's free. Well, it costs an ATB charge, but it's it's free, you know? So that's pretty good. And it cures poison. And I did actually get poisoned by these enemies occasionally when I was doing my uh, little battle practice. <laughs> and I do feel a lot more comfortable with the combat now. Um, the... the the locking on thing, I'm just going to have to remember not to spam the right stick trying to move the camera when I'm locked on because <laughs> that will just constantly swap targets and it, it messes me up. So I'm, I'm still going to get used to that, but overall, I am much more comfortable with the combat. I might not do any better, but I feel like it's it's clicked a bit more. So, so that's good. But uh, we're going to head back into town because we've got a lot of side quests we can do. And um, I'm very excited to do those. But we need to hand in this thing to Chadley. Don't screw this up. Um, and those things were actually given pretty decent XP. It, I, it didn't take me very long to get to level 12 when um, when I was just, you know, messing around. So we could, we could go grind a little bit if we wanted to. But at this stage of the game, I really am just going to leave it. Nice job, buddy. Nice job, buddy. All right, chatters. No worries, man. Magic Elements Part One research complete. I've done it. Mm -hmm. I've developed a new materia. So yeah, reset upgrades. Um, you can see the Buster Sword. Uh, it doesn't actually tell us how much SP we'd get. Back from that, but it's probably like eight or something. Maybe, you know what? Just I'm just wondering. I wonder if I have got this right in my head. 
Um, we must we must get SP back from this. Yeah, reset all weapon upgrades. Let's just quickly do this. It's only 100 gil. And we'll show it off. So, we should have more SP now. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Yep, we will do. We're definitely going to be uh, hopefully doing a lot of this battle intel stuff. If we get some material out of it. So, oh. Hang on. No, we don't get SP back. So, have I misunderstood this then? Which wouldn't be a surprise. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If we equip the weapon, because every weapon has its own SP pool. Right, so you can't... Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm learning. This is all new to me. So, if we equip... If we equip the Buster Sword... We should have... Whoops. Yeah! So 15 is our maximum SP, because that's the most we've gained. Uh, so basically, for every weapon that we get, we're going to have 15 SP to spend on that weapon. Regardless... Of, okay, I've got it. I've got it. Cool. Right. Sorry, chaps. I was, um, I was under the impression that we could spend this SP on the Iron Blade, but that's not that how that works. Which is fine, which is fine. Um, so, we'd have to spend that SP back on the Buster Sword. Yeah, look, 15 SP with that one, three, right. Cool, I understand now. Uh, and we might end up using the Buster Sword again, because it is, it is more physically powerful um, than the Iron Blade. So, I'm just going to quickly get all these again. HP... Uh, magic attack power. And if I could actually get to the... There we go. <laughs> and attack power. There we go. So, now we've only got 3 SP on this one. And once we get another level, we'll reach level 2 weapon-wise, which will mean we unlock a new core for all of our weapons. So, I, I'm I'm really digging this system. now that I Now that I fully understand it. Okay, right. Well, again, we're probably going to stick with the Iron Blade for now. So, I'll equip it. Just because we get more materia at this point. Yeah, we lose a bit of um, physical attack, but our defense and magic attack goes up with the Iron Blade. So, good, good, good. And, uh, right, let's see how much this wind material is going to be. Maybe we can test it out. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information Because the wind research. will probably be the arrow spells, I would assume. Wind material, yeah, arrow, aurora, and aeroga. Oh, oh, I can't believe you get... Did there, was there even, there was arrow material in, in the original... Yeah, there was. I'm pretty sure there was. Um, it has been so long, though. Uh, right. Only costs 100 gil, dude. Hell yes. And he's got... He's got two stocks of it. Right, I see. So you can actually... You can sell out. Still not really sure what's going on with, like, the thing he's got on his face or the shoulder thing. Chadley, you're a little bit weird, but we like you. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. So, let's go do some side quests. Uh, there's quite a few littered around the place, but first I'm going to equip that wind materia instead of... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll replace fire right now. And I tell you what, it's not going to be that long until we level that up. We're going to be getting some uh, level 2 magic spells at some point, especially with Cure as well. So we'll equip, um, we'll try the Wind Materia. See what Arrow looks like. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh, I'm excited. Right, so we can talk to this guy. Also, we've killed, um, as you can see, we've killed 40 monsters now, so we can probably get a reward from her. 
Talk to Katie. Yeah. Oh, we need 10 more. An orb of MP up, Mysteria. But we're going to get some uh, revival earrings and some potions. You know what? We're going to quickly, before we go do the side quests, sorry guys, before we go do the side quests, I'm going to go kill a few more mon uh, monsters and we're going to try this um, wind materia. And then we'll get uh, all the rewards. We'll get some MP up materia. Uh, I've still got Tifa as the leader. I might swap that back to Cloud for now. Oops. How do you do that again? Party? No. Shit. Oh, I'm such a master of this game already, you can tell, can't you guys? How do you make them the leader? Battle settings, there we go. Right then, let's go kill some stuff. They're nothing. Yeah, it's a, your party members, when they're not being controlled by you, their ATB bar right now really charges very slowly. Oh god, more of them. Um, I'm sure we'll get materia eventually that can help with that. Go. I completely forgot to use the wind material. Whoops. Next time, next time, Cloud. Won't be tough. Oh fuck you! Time for an uppercut. Yes. Mind taking over. Need to heal up. Yeah. Um. <laughs> This thing's nearly dead. I'm po- was I- am I poisoned? Let's go. Am I poisoned? I think it's worn off. I think it's- it might wear off after a fight, possibly. Or maybe it just wears off naturally. Pretty sure I may have been poisoned just then. When I got- when uh, Cloud got grabbed. Let's end this quick. <laughs> 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 Right, time for an arrow. Ooh, let's see. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Come on, guys, hit me. Yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, buddy. Oh, crap, I'm taking damage. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this. You're good at this. This is so fun, so. and and I I did I, I must have spent about an hour earlier on today just fighting these guys over and over just trying to get better at it, and uh, I I I'm just I'm loving it so much. I know I'm gushing constantly. Ooh, a Moogle medal! Hey, nice, good stuff. We've got like three of those now. Um. We, we're probably going to go back to Cloud's apartment and heal up soon. We'll probably do that before we go side questing, or we could accept the side quests, then go heal. We're not doing too bad, though. Uh, so that's the arrow spell. Very, very nice. Very nice. If this is <laughs> Keep it together. Tifa. Whoa, that is so good. Let's finish it with a dive kick. Now, Tifa's um, proficiency to learn dive kick and be able to use it with other weapons, you have to kill enemies with this skill, like finish them off. Like that. And we just uh, we just got a level. Hey, Cloud's level 12, which means, yeah, we've just got weapon level 2 with him. So we've got, um, we got 5 SP then, that makes sense. So now, chaps, we can, uh, we can get some more upgrades, or at least one more, and we can check out the next core, which has unlocked. Okay, so we either can get the last one on this one, which costs 4, ah, and stuff on this one costs 6. So we can get more attack power, magic power, 
Magic attack power plus 5 with high HP, 75% or higher. And physical defense, plus 5. Okay. Um, we could probably do with a bit more physical attack with this sword. So I'm going to go for uh, attack power plus 6. There we go. This is great. This is so good. I can't believe I'm playing this game still. Like... Shit. Oh, I re I'm sorry if my commentary sucked in these videos, because for one thing, I've, I've spent a lot of time just gawking at things, not saying anything, and about the rest of the time just gushing over it. So, sorry, can't help it. I'm, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. This is just a very um, overwhelming experience <laughs> at times, which is great, but... Um, I just hope the videos are fun. Right, let's, um... We could get Tifa to level 12 as well. But we're going to be doing some side quests, which are probably going to involve killing stuff anyway, so... We'll, uh, we'll head back to town. We'll head back to town and see what people need doing. And my dog is barking downstairs. Also, I hope you can't see it, but I just had um, a big old uh, plate of bolognese. And wearing a white shirt was probably not a good idea. Because uh, there was a little bit of splashback, you know? You know, when you take one of those big old dumps and you get the old splashback. Well, this was this was not quite as gross as that, but... Um, yeah, now I've got bolognese sauce splattered all over my shirt. Okay, so what are the battle intel did we have a second? Oh, stagger effects, right. Yeah. Unique abilities on staggered enemies and charge ATB gauge ten times. Um that ATB boost materia. I mean that's that's gotta be That's gotta be what I was just talking about, where it'll fill the gauge faster, right? So that would be good to get. But we need to stagger 15 enemy types, and, well, unless we leave and explore new areas, we're not going to find those other enemy types. Uh, right, so, do we want to talk to this guy? I'll go ahead and put the word out that you're looking for more work. Okay, alright, he just had something to say. Um, let's check the map. Right, so we've got a rat problem quest. Rat pub, uh, problem quest and lost friends. Also, nuisance in the factory. What is that quest? Where is that quest? Well, you don't see it. Uh... Oh, right. It's in a place we've not been yet. Ah. Okay, then. Um, we could. We've got a bit of money now. We could go get T for some armor. Let's do that before we go accept this quest over here, Lost Friends. So we'll track that quest. Introduce yourself to the other nerds. And we'll go see if we can get T for either some better armor or an accessory. Because she does take quite a bit of damage. You carrying my weapons is the best advertisement a man could ask for. This dude has completely done a 180. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I want to get an iron bangle for her, but at the same time, I'm thinking, am I going to find one of those for free? And the star bracelet is good, but stat-wise, it kind of sucks. It's, it's only good for the materia slots, and and the I did check this. I wasn't um, I wasn't really paying attention up until now, but materia slots are either separate like those, or they are linked, so there will be materia combinations in this game. Not quite sure how it's going to work yet, because we've not really been told about it, or found any combinations that I think would work, but it's exciting. It's very exciting, so even more depth to the customization. I think it might be more prudent to get... I'm going to buy the bulletproof vest for her. Which, honestly, I mean, increased vitality. I guess that means 
No, vitality is going to be different from defense, isn't it? Where's vitality defense? I mean, it shows an increase there. So maybe it is. I mean, it's definitely going to increase our defense, whatever it says. So we're going to buy that. We're going to buy a bulletproof vest for Tifa. 800 gil. We've still got, we've still got like just short of 2,000. So... That's good. Oh, crap. I just remembered. We need to go uh, get our other stuff from that woman. From Katie. But before I do that, let's equip Tifa. Ah, right. So vitality must influence defense. Yeah. Defense is probably, um, obviously... Stuff you get from armor and your vitality. Okay, I think. Alright, let's equip that. I mean, it's only like a one increase, but it's got to be better than nothing. And when we do find some better armor for her, that accessory is going to be more effective. So, I'm fine with that. Let's see what don't, Katie don't has for us. Whoa, check it out! I don't think the number's ever gone that high before. At this rate, we won't have to worry about monsters ever again. What a thing to be able to say. Thank you so, so much. Sweet. We'll never forget how many bloodthirsty beasts you kept off our streets. Where's Katie? Oh, smell that fresh air. That's the smell of a safe and happy town. One you could be proud to call home. Whoop. Kill 50, 59. It's not quite 69. I should go kill 10 more enemies just because, but... Uh, okay, so we've got some revival... Earrings, was it? Which is an instant revive, obviously. Um, not gonna use them just yet though, because they do break. But I'm sure, I'm sure I'm gonna die at some point. One of my characters will die. So we either revive them with a phoenix down, or we give them that. But for now, do I want to go heal? No, we're actually good. We're actually okay. Wow, Cloud's already got 1,700 HP. One thing I've been wondering, though, because I know this is obviously supposed to just be, like, the first game in a series now. I wonder how they're going to go about... Like, trans are you going to transfer characters over from your, your save file from this one into the next one? Or are they going to make you start from scratch? Or is there going to be some sort of weird workaround? I, I don't know how they're going to do it. But right now, I, I, I feel like this is is going to give me enough to be like, yeah, that even if they didn't make a second one, you know, if they didn't really finish the, the story of FF7, this game's given me so much already. I And I know I'm only like four hours in. Right, what was this quest? I might run past it. Ah. Oh, it's a little girl. Oh, she lost her friends. Come out, come out. Come on, guys. Oh my god, she's playing hide and seek. We're gonna find her friends. I think I can see one of them already, mate. That is a shit hiding place. Oh, the the playing sword fights with pipes. That's not dangerous at all. Uh oh, her name's Betty. Oh, hey there. Uh is Marlene with you? No. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. <laughs> really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people will give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. What? Oh, yeah. And they're all cats. Oh. I'm looking for cats. They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. By my friends, please. I thought she was playing hide and seek with her friends. I thought this was going to be one of them. Games are stupid. stupid kids games are stupid. Oh, you're so edgy, dude. Look at your camo cap. With your fucking little trike next to you. With your arms crossed and your legs wide apart like you own the place. Little shit. Right, so... We've got to find three cats. Also, what the hell is that? 
Uh, I guess it's something to do with the power. Uh, right, how do we do this? How do we find the cats? Lots of girls who live here, they love crowded places, like the road to the station. A lot of people stop to play with them there. Okay, well that's a good clue. Mm, so, back to... we'll head towards the station then. Past Pillar Plaza. They like crowded places. So, we're going, uh, we're going hunting for pussy cats. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now, Cloud. We're not saving the planet. Oh yeah, look! Oh! Oh yeah! Didn't we see one... Didn't we see one near Tifa's bar as well? I'm pretty sure we saw another white cat near the... Oh. I don't think it liked us. Yeah, wasn't there one near Tifa's bar as well? There is, I can see it. Look how many people there are, dude. Yeah, what's going on? Why all the commotion? A job well- Oh, this is part of the main scenario. I don't want to do this just yet. I must find the cats. Come here, you little Wait, fuzzball. Did you hear that just now? I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. You think, Tifa? What 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 gave you that idea? You are so perceptive. Oh my god. Fucking Watson over here. I, I say that because I'm obviously Sherlock. Uh, can we can we talk to the cat, please? Meow. One left. Now, is it going to be in the slums, or do we have to go towards the station like we were doing? Let's let's head towards the station. So this is all. Come on. You never know. Let's see. <laughs> Any cats? There's also, there is an item shop over this way that it, we didn't get chance to check out last time we were coming through. So I think we'll have a look. I heard it was Avalanche who bombed the reactor. Ah, this could be, this could be a good bet. Any, any, uh... Any kitties? Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Well, first of all, let let can I can I buy like a big dirty pizza? What do you sell? We can buy Barrett's theme. Oh, it's only fifty gil. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're buying Barrett's theme. We're gonna listen to it next time we're at uh, at the bar. Uh, Potions, antidotes. Alright. Cool. Hmm. I don't actually see any cats around here. And now we're basically at the station. So maybe... Maybe we should go back to the slums. But also... Just look at this. Look at this. I just... <laughs> I love this world. And it's funny because when I played it when I played the original as a kid, I liked Midgar, but whenever I played through it, the game, I was always like really desperate to get out of Midgar. You know, because you want to get out into the big open world and the game really really opens up once you do that. Um, but like obviously this whole game is in Midgar, but so far I don't mind that. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't feel restrictive like the original did. So far. So far. We've only scratched the surface. So... I must try and uh, get my head out of the clouds, I suppose, and just 
I, I don't, what am I talking about? What am I talking? You know, see what I mean? These videos are gonna be terrible. My commentary is gonna suck. Chocobo bum. I can pretty much guarantee we will be going in that factory for one of those side quests. Okay, so there was no no kiddies that way. Let's um let's head back towards our apartment. See if there's anything around there. Don't take your eyes off. Won't be too hard to find. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, that's how we. Ah, that's how we get to the other side quest. Right, that must have been closed off before, because I don't remember being able to go that way. Any any kitties? Hey, what are you doing in there? Come on out. The hell? My husband decided to go to the station and see if it had gotten any better. Any cats? You seen any cats dumpster kid? Maintaining surveillance. Oh, V must buy is so cool. Holding position until <laughs> nightfall. We'll report any developments immediately if observed. Good on you, kid. That is such a kid thing to do. That is that would be me. I used to play games like that all the time, sneaking around. You know, so pretended to be a uh, so solid snake. Like Sam Fisher. James Bond. I don't see any cats anywhere. Then again, oh, there was that place that had a shit ton of cats. I wonder if one of the cats has made friends with those cats and those cats are hanging out with those cats. No, that's Scrap Boulevard. Uh, Boulevard? That's Scrap Boulevard. <laughs> I swear to God, guys. I really hope this game is good enough to carry your attention because my freaking commentary certainly isn't. Answer, answer her, Tifa. Tell, tell, you know, future husband. Where is this cat? I'm back. I'm back where the girl is now. Hang on. Where was the um? I think I need to go down here and take a right. Yeah, down here. It's got to be down here, right? Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Excuse me, cats. Have you seen a slightly whiter cat? No. Where the hell is this cat? Go oh, hang on. Oh no, you're not quite the right kind of cat. Where the hell is this the cat going to be? I've been everywhere, man. Can't believe I've spent this time chasing pussy cats. Where else would I? Where else would I be able to look? I've looked at the bar, and then there was one at this cross section. I didn't see any on the way to the uh, to the station. Tifa would have said that she'd seen one or something. So, where do I look? Maybe down one of these alleyways I've not been down properly? I must find this elusive feline. Some people are rude. Where the bloody hell is this cat going to be? I know, let's have a word with the girl again. She might give us a clue. She might give us a clue. She's adorable. Marlene says she always gives them some snacks when they go to 7th Heaven. Yeah, we've already... I wonder if there's... Is there going to be one in 7th Heaven? There was one outside it though, so I doubt it. I see a lot of cats hanging out near the beginner's hall. Oh! You know the place. Is the one with all the houses around it? Yeah, Beginner's Hall, right. Maybe it's up on... or inside. It could even be inside. But we'll uh, we'll check the roof first. Because cats like to hang out on roofs, don't they? Sorry. Let's see. No, oh, we can't actually get up there though, can we? I won't do anything. You know, say it like that. What? I have my dignity, goddammit. 
I wonder if the cat's inside. You want a big ass sword like a certain badass mercs? We can hook you up. Dude, I am the badass merc that you're trying to impress people with. You silly man. How many people do you see walking around with a sword like this and hair like this? Seriously. It's, this is great. Yes, everyone loves my sword. And everyone calls it Big Ass Sword. I don't see any cats. There was no cats in there. No, that's the web. Wait, that was Beginner's Hall, right? Have I gone to the wrong place? That's the, well, no, that's the weapon store. Where's Beginner's Hall? I thought that was it. Hang on a minute. No, that is right. Yeah, I, no, that was Beginner's Hall. It was up there. Yeah, Beginner's Hall. So where the frick were the cats? Pete, you just opened up shop in the area, didn't you? I don't see them. The watch guy Biggs oh, me, oh, you know what? Maybe they're in the room with Biggs and Wedge. Maybe that's what it, where it is. Can't believe it's taken me this long to find it. Oh wait, can we not go in there? Can they close the damn door? Shit. Where is this cat, dude? Where is it? I said hanging around Beginner's Hall. That's the guy who ran the monsters off the boulevard. Just look at that sword of his. It's so big. It's the oh, everyone the loves my big weapon. Down here. There's the other quest that we could start here, but hey, what are you doing in there? Come on out. I'm trying to get a cat to come out. It snatched one of my pastries and scurried in there. Will you be a deer and lend me a hand? Yep. Okay. I thought this was a different side quest. Whoops. Okay, well. We'll be able to find it now. Is it like some secret cat hangout or what? Oh my god. Right, well anyway. Finally found you, you elusive little... Snozberry. Did you just hiss at me? This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Wow, Cloud, uh, I know, right? This. Return to Betty, yes. I have just spent the longest time on that side quest. I hope there are two, I, are we gonna get a reward for that? What's Betty gonna be able to give us? A fucking use lollipop? A, life stream, right? What's a, life stream? a mud pie? What's she gonna give us? What? They ran away? So, never gonna see them again? I don't know, it might be, oh there they are. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey guys, you came back. They said that a scary man was chasing them. <laughs> Thank you. The Don't laugh, Tifa. Right? A What's maiden's kiss thing? obtained. And we got a full heal out of that. Alright, well. Maiden's kiss, that cures frog, doesn't it? Which I believe is a status ailment in this. Because I've seen it actually turns you into a frog and you can, like, hop around. <laughs> um... I think that's probably what it does. Check our inventory. Yeah, it removes toad-related curses. There we go. Nice. Only the one, though. Lots of girls who live here have the potential but still, that is the side quest done. Let's go do another one. I'm sorry that took so long. <laughs> that's probably like an entire video. Uh, rat problem. Let's go do it. What's a live stream? What's a live stream? Something we probably won't be seeing for a very long time. Alright, you got some dirty rats to clear out, Mr. Item Shop Man. 